Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh, hi everybody, what is going on, it is Gail right here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video, and today we are going to be going over some of the game modes that got a bit of an update in today's update, so of course, if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more Don Machi and Don Machi Battle Chronicle content, and one of the game modes that we're going to be talking about in today's video is of course the event ranking, so let me know in the comment section down below where did you guys finish in the latest event ranking that we got as part of the tokimeki orario summer part one event i know a lot of people actually got confused by where the event ranking was a lot of people were just going to part two and they did not look at part one so a lot of people missed out on like day one and day two of the event ranking which is surprising to me considering it literally says in the notice itself part one even in my live streams and videos i've literally shown you guys it says tokimiki orario summer part one event and i'm going to that specific event i'm not going into part two's event but a lot of people got very very confused and as a result i know a lot of people really struggled to get their runs in on day one and day two but let me know where did you guys finish i'm very curious to see what scores you guys ended up getting nonetheless We'll talk about that later. First and foremost, I want to talk about the two game modes that in my personal opinion got a lot of information in one situation because we don't even have that game mode yet. And then the second one had a massive reset. And I think we'll start off with the second one first and foremost. And the second one that obviously got a massive reset is of course Magic Stone Scramble. As you guys may or may not know, because of the major issues that happened right as the original Season 1 began, and of course the reason why they extended the preseason, they have decided to effectively reset everybody back down into Bronze 3 for this first season of Magic Stone Scramble. So obviously you will have to start from the very beginning, from the very bottom, which is kind of annoying, but we do get about... 21 days to do it basically it's a bit of a shorter season i feel right i think if we look at the previous season right it went from like the 24th of august all the way until the end of september so it was a very long season whereas this one is about a 21 day season i do believe it's also because of the fact that they had to do a 10 day delay and they don't want to you know lead into issues regarding the next season of course right because the way these gacha companies operate right is that they already have stuff scheduled out for like one or two months in advance usually it's about a month a month and a half in advance and then they know what they want to drop in two months time but they haven't prepared anything yet basically right that's the way these gacha companies work they work like months in advance basically usually when it comes to new character releases when it comes to content when it comes to seasons for pvp pve and so on and so forth these guys already have stuff planned out so they can't really push back future seasons so instead they're making this season a bit shorter than normal. I expect the next season to go from the 2nd of November or 1st of November, I should say, all the way until the 1st of December, most likely. So exactly a month long. Now, the one thing that they did do, along with resetting everybody's ranks to down to Bronze 3, is that they also reset the first rank rewards so yes you can collect all these first rank rewards or once again you can see that there are no stamps on the side because if you for example right if you go to battle arena right and if you go to reward at this point in time you can see that i have the get stamp already now between seasons for battle arena these didn't reset so the fact that they've reset this and they did mention something about resetting the first time rank rewards, which I thought it was primarily for those who had managed to get into the super high ranks of like hero or master or something like that. They would have reset their ranks and maybe taken away their currency. But that does not seem to be the case. That does not seem to be the case. You can get these uh, first rank rewards and everybody can as well. You can get the bronze ones, silver ones, gold ones, platinum ones. It's really well uh, handled here, I feel. Rather than taking away only the master and hero, they've reset everybody's first rank rewards, which means we're going to be getting a lot more Selas from this of course right obviously it's only going to be for this time only i expect season two to already have these stamps filled out already um you know once we get to these specific ranks right say for example i end up in platinum one and then next season i get pushed down back into gold i won't get the platinum first rank reward first rank rewards any uh, any anymore i won't get them anymore so obviously take advantage of this try and get the uh, first rank rewards once again if possible 
I envy those who managed to get into Diamond 2 and above, to be quite honest, because now they can get those, they can get even more first rank rewards. I can only get up to technically Diamond 3 because that is the highest I've ever gotten in Magic Stone Scramble. But yeah, cool, uh, fair play to you guys. Fair play to you guys who got into like Master Hero and so on and so forth. So that is obviously Season 1 of Magic Stone Scramble. I don't think there's any different uh, or differences between what they did now and what they had before realistically. I think the only issues that they had to fix were of course the issues with like, you know, mobs not spawning in and everything. I think everything else is pretty much straightforward when it comes to Season 1 of Magic Stone Scramble. So, I mean, yeah, I think they've still maintained the fire enemies as well and so on and so forth. So I don't think there's any difference there. If, if we can see here... Um, I think it's, is it this one? Is it this issue right here or the, is it updated? Yeah, no, they've given the, uh, yeah, they've given the thing as well. And yeah, they've announced that there's going to be fire enemies in this uh, Magic Stone Scramble. So yeah, I think it's in here, right? Yeah, yeah, the monster attribute is fire, train a water attribute character and challenge the fight. So it's very straightforward. It's about the same as expected. Yeah, it was supposed to go from 1st October to the 1st of November. Now it's going from the 10th of November, oh, sorry, 10th of October to the 1st of November. So I expect that to be the same next month as well, where it'll go from 1st November to the 1st of December. But there you guys go. That's season one of Magic Stone Scramble. Now, the second thing we need to take a look at is, of course, the Familiar Festival. Um, the Tokimeki Orario Summer Last Part Familiar Festival. The first Familiar event is going to be held. Now, we spoke about this a little bit in uh, the video we dropped earlier today. But, of course, the video we dropped earlier today was primarily focused on the download campaign along with the compensation and doing the summons, right? So, let's talk a little bit more about the Familiar Festival, which, to be quite honest, looks like it's just going to be event ranking but with familiars instead basically right so instead of our uh, you know everybody individually ranking in the top uh, 10 top 100 and so on and so forth it'll be familiars ranking uh, in those uh, positions basically right so the familiar festival is a ranking event where familiars compete against each other to earn the most sun and clouds metal gold sun and clouds metal gold can be obtained by clearing the exclusive quests that are available during the period in exclusive quests, the amount of sun and clouds metals gold can increase. Uh, you can gain increased the more you defeat enemies, but the amount of attempts you can clear in a day is limited. So it's exactly like event ranking, it seems like, right? You get uh, a certain amount of attempts each day, and uh, you have to get your best runs in in those day in those days, basically, right? In those attempts get the best runs possible and consistently get them you will probably get three attempts per day just like event ranking and you'll have to go in and try your best hopefully you can still retry i mean based on the last uh, event ranking we got in the tokimeki orario summer part one event i'm pretty sure we'll still have the retry capabilities in uh, in the uh, event itself nonetheless right defeating as many enemies in one attempt is the key to reaching the top of the rankings in this exclusive quest a water attribute reveria will appear Prepare by upgrading your electric attribute characters. In preparation for the actual rankings, we have prepared a quest called Ranking Battle Practice in the very hard tab of the event. This quest is identical in content to the actual ranking battle, so please make use of it when planning to your setup. Aim for a high rank on the leaderboard by strengthening your characters that can achieve a higher score. So it's exactly the same as the... Uh, uh, event ranking however one thing to note is that the uh, familiar festival starts on the 18th of october and the event is ending on the 24th of october which means that the familiar event actually gets a few more days in comparison to the event ranking the event ranking is only a three day long event right we've seen it the most recently it went from the 7th to the 9th basically right this one is seemingly going from the 18th to the 24th. We don't know the end date. I'm assuming it's going to end on the 24th, which means we have six days of the familiar event, which is a thumbs up right there. Again, this is exactly what we need. We need more longer event ranking days effectively. We can't just have three days of event ranking and, you know, call it a day there. The future event rankings and familiar festivals should exactly be like this, where it's a six day long event event in my personal opinion that's my personal opinion these are the rewards you can get titled selas and almighty bond you can receive selas skill level upgrade items and other training materials from the total point rewards please note that you can only receive the familiar festival ranking rewards if you are a member of a familiar so yes make sure you guys are a part of a familiar join a random familiar whatever it may be go into the discords or whatever and ask people around for a familiar and just join one. It is much more imperative that you are a part of a familiar 
rather than not because you might get at least some form of a reward right that is what i would highly recommend event buff effect the event specific buff effects granted to specific characters will also apply to both ranking battle and ranking battle practice and it's of course these four units the summer units summer eyes summer loki summer lafia and summer reveria we'll take a look at the buffs in just a moment um they go on to talk about the joining and then they talk about the uh, period so obviously ranking battle practice they've said is from the 10th of october to the 24th of october this is a little bit wrong the ra main ranking battle does not start on the 10th of october it's on the 18th of october i think they just messed that up a little bit but yeah either way let's take a look at the event itself first and foremost so we go into uh, the uh, event first and foremost right and we'll take a look at the event bonus so you look over here right the following effects are granted to units that include the relevant re adventures and assists 20 percent stamina strength magic endurance and dexterity increase eyes lafia loki rivera so they get a 20 percent stats boost effectively to these characters which is really solid i don't think it's too overpowering some may some may think it is still overpowering which it is i mean at the end of the day they are incentivizing you or trying to push you into summoning for these units to get a better score but in my personal opinion i think what matters more than anything else is strategy there were so many people that i was going up against right in the event ranking where they had a tiona or they had a summer lily or something along those lines and they were scoring less than me even though i didn't have any of those units so i would highly recommend that you don't get swayed by this and focus on practicing a lot of people just didn't practice last time around i spoke to so many people and they said that yeah we just didn't practice and i'm like well yeah that's going to happen if you don't practice you're not going to learn exactly what you're dealing with in the ranking battle stage right when the fight when the day comes right you're not going to know what to do basically right so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to just do uh two attempts i'm probably going to do two attempts because i need to double check something before we just go straight in um one thing i would highly recommend in terms of units that you could take as well right somebody uh you know if you really want to take some other units as well here that could work I mean, the best unit I would say in this situation, personally, to me, out of all of these units that are available in the game, Aisha and Bet are your best bets that are not the summer units, I would say. Honestly, Bet is surprisingly one of the better units to get for this stage, purely because he's a purple speed type unit. Being a purple speed type unit is going to help out so much in this event ranking, it's not even funny. That's going to be where I probably struggle in this time around. Even though I have a purple character, the fact that I'm rocking effectively what is a, a, a slow character, a slow DPS character in the form of Aisha is going to cause me a little bit of chaos. So let's give it a shot. Let's try and see how we fare here. Uh, I'm going to maintain these same uh, skills and everything. I think that's going to be just fine. Um, I might use Tione just to try and uh, bump up my uh, recovery or uh, skill generation a little bit. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Now, we do get 5,000 Valis as a bonus, but I want to just see what score we get in this uh, ranking battle. Let's see here. So let's see. So the old generation you can see right here, even with type advantage, isn't that great. So I'm going to just switch to uh, Tione and see what it looks like. It's a little bit better because Tione is faster. We're able to get a little bit more off, uh, which is much better. But it's still not great. Is, uh, is Reveria up? Reveria's up. Uh-oh, Reveria's about to launch. There we go. All right, let's do this. There we go. And then do this. Come on. I wonder, do the balloons count as a mob? No, I don't think they do. Surely they don't. Surely they don't. I'm wondering if I should just launch with uh, I Aisha, honestly. That's going to be very interesting. I'm going to try both strategies out, but we will see. This is going to be very interesting, to be honest. All right, let's continue on. Uh-oh. No, no, come back here. Come on over here. All right, I'm just going to launch here. I'm going to use that opportunity to basically attack them like this. At least one thing I like about Aisha is that she has a lot of range here. Oh my god, why are you all the way here? Like, why are you all the way here? All right, I wanted to get a couple of hits off there. Oh my god, there's so many of these characters. All right, let's do this. She likes moving a lot. Whoa, oh god, oh god, oh god. I've moved out of my screen. No. I literally uh, went out of my screen here. 
Okay, we... We still got hit by that. Why? Okay, that's a bit weird. Alright, let's see how how well we do here. But this seems like it's gonna be a lot more chaotic than the... Uh, a Tiona stage. There seems to be a lot more enemies. Riveria seems to spawn in with some enemies of her own. And they always spawn here, it feels like. I feel. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like they spawn here always. I think they do, yeah. Yeah, they literally always spawn here. I'm no- uh, So, Riveria always spawns in this area, basically. Alright, I'm gonna need to get a healer as well, maybe. Maybe getting in, um, Haruhime might, might be a bit beneficial. I think it might be better to get Haruhime in or something. Or some form of healing. Maybe give uh, Haruhime's lunch to Aisha to get some heals in or something. Because this feels like it's a lot of damage we're taking. And I'm not recovering anything. And we have 30 seconds to go still. Let's do this. Oh god. I'm gonna try and just recover some stuff here. Oh my lord. This is, uh, this is a little bit rougher than I thought. Although that being said, Riveria does have less damage it feels like. Yeah, I died with Aisha. Okay, that's actually something that I need to know alert, uh, remember then. That this is a little bit more problematic than I thought. Alright, I might need to get a, get a healer in, maybe. Somebody who can recover HP for me. Or like, or, or like just give Haruhime's lunch to her. Because I wasn't expecting to literally die with uh, Aisha. That was surprising to me. What score are we going to get? Let's see here. What score are we getting? 1,470. Because 5,000 was the bonus that you'd get from just doing the first run. So no, we have a lot to improve on. There's a lot to improve on there. We were doing terribly there. So yeah, again, this is why you kind of need to practice at the end of the day that's all that it is to this ranking battle pretty much is just practice 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 and i'm gonna be doing that for sure but yes there you go that is of course the familiar event hopefully you guys do well in your familiar events of course right um but yes speaking of the event ranking of course we have to obviously talk about the first event ranking that we had for the Tokimeki Orario Summer Event. And that is of course in the first part. Um, so I got my uh, score in already. As you can see I received the following ranking rewards. 2500 Sailors, Almighty Bond Rainbow 2. And then a top 500 finish. Which was excellent. Really really nice. I finished rank 285. Which uh, I'm not too surprised by. Considering I was hovering around the 100 to 150 mark. On the final day. So I kind of knew that I wouldn't have dropped massively. Because it felt like a lot of people were just not getting a high enough scores for some reason it was kind of weird in that regards right where some people who even had like units better than me were struggling considering uh considerably we can't even see the setups for other players unfortunately but yeah a lot of people were felt like it felt like people were struggling even with the right characters so again it comes down to just making sure you guys have it right now if you want to get the rewards by the way if people are, are wondering where the rewards are you have to go into the event itself you have to go into the tokimeki orario summer part one event you have to go in there and then once you leave and you go back to the home screen it should be in your gift box if it isn't in your gift box go back to the title screen and then re-log back in basically that's what they've said on twitter i know that some people may be confused as to where their rewards are when other people have gotten it already um so yeah make sure you guys do that process of going into the event logging out or at least going back to the gift box first and checking if you got it if you didn't get it go back out uh you know out of the game come back in and you should be getting it in there basically so yeah and of course if you guys didn't get it remember you can go into the inquiry section and uh send an email saying you didn't get the rewards of course this is assuming you didn't get the rewards don't send an email all willy-nilly just if you didn't get uh, anything right but yeah let me know what you guys think about the entire situation with the familiar event, the Magic Stone Scramble. And of course, like I asked you guys earlier on, let me know where you guys ended up finishing in the latest event ranking. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy everybody. Bye-bye.